Use the sword. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This week, we are reminding ourselves of the importance of speaking God's Word, of us declaring what God has said in His Word for us, towards us, about us, and the promises He's given to us. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, the scriptures as we just read, the Apostle Paul has uh, gone through uh, telling us or teaching us about our spiritual armor, the weapons that we use in spiritual warfare. And as he enumerates these various pieces of armor, he comes to the sword and he says, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We want to highlight a few things here. First of all, we are the people who use the sword. He's telling us to take it. That means I must actively, intentionally, purposefully use the sword. Otherwise, it will be of no use to me. Uh, it, it'll, not, it'll be ineffective. So it's like God has given me a weapon and he's saying, I want you to use it against the enemy. It's a very effective weapon. So use it. So take the sword. And he says, take the sword of the spirit. That means this is a spirit-enabled, spirit-empowered weapon. When I use the weapon, the Holy Spirit goes into action. Now just think about that. I use it, but the enemy is not just fighting me. He, begin, he has to face the mighty Holy Spirit, God himself. Take the sword of the Spirit. So every time you speak the word of God, remember the Holy Spirit is going into motion. The Holy Spirit is going to back that word that you speak. He's going to back it up and he's going to go forth on your behalf against the enemy. Take the sword of the Spirit. And what is that? It is the word of God. How would we use the sword? When you look at New Testament scripture many times, the Bible points to us about the sword of the word of God going forth out of our mouth or out of the mouth of the Lord himself. So when you see Jesus, it says he is the one who has the double-edged sword coming out of his mouth. It is his word and his word has to be spoken. So just like how he speaks the word, we take the word of God as our sword and we use it against the enemy. So I want to encourage you to learn to speak the word in every situation. If you feel the enemy is coming up against you in any way, you know, troubling your mind with all kinds of thoughts or uh, trying to put fear, or you see the enemy operating uh, in a situation or coming against your body with sickness or disease or coming uh, against your finances, trying to steal, kill and destroy. Remember, God has given you a sword. It is the sword of the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit backs up this backs this up when you use it and it is the word of God that means we must speak the word of God with our mouth so you intentionally speak the word against the enemy speak the word against what the enemy is trying to do speak the word of God into your life over your own spirit soul and body it's a powerful weapon against the enemy use your sword speak the word let's pray Father, we ask that you will help us to take this weapon that you've given to us, which is the Word of God, backed up by the Holy Spirit. And even as we speak, help us to understand the Holy Spirit moves on our behalf when we speak this Word. Satan remains defeated in our lives. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.